Hey guys, it's Erica Stone, and I have had more than one email uh, from someone who said, Erica, no matter what I do, I can't find keywords for the Pinfabulous strategy. That's the combination of Amazon and Pinterest uh, for traffic. And this keyword strategy is one I've used for a number of other um, projects as well, not just uh, Pinfabulous, but it was uh, the keyword strategy I used for Squidoo projects. Um, really, it's just a low competition uh, keyword methodology. But um, if you can't make it work for you, then you don't get very far. So I wanted to show you how I'm able to pull together a pretty quick list of keywords, um, low competition keywords that are great for Amazon affiliates and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do the same. I use um, the Google Keyword Planner, but I'm also gonna fold in uh, Uber Suggest. Uh, that's U-B-E-R-S-U-G-G-E-S-T dot org. This tool um, scrapes Google Suggest information and pulls out keywords, and uh, oftentimes it'll give you a giant list of things you can then run through the Google Keyword Planner and then using the spreadsheet that came in Pinfabulous, you can scrub that list pretty quickly and zero in on some keywords that you just need to use to check the um, search engine competition and you're good to go. So I'm going to run through an example uh, and I'm gonna start with, it, it helps if you've got maybe three words. Two words sometimes doesn't give you enough ideas but um, you need some sort of adjective in here. So I'm going to do blue table lamp and then I've got to enter the CAPTCHA. I'm going to bring up a giant list. This is going to go to Google Suggest and pull out all the things people type in after the words blue table lamp or with the phrase blue table lamp. So you can see I've got blue table lamp, blue table lamp shades, blue table lamps bedroom. Now, see there's this little plus sign on the side? If I click on any of these words, it'll show me more phrases. That's it. It expands to include blue table lampshades, navy blue table lampshades, dark blue table lampshades, pale blue. So I get way more phrases if I click on some of these to expand them. Now I don't want to hit sale keywords and I don't want countries, but I'm going to go through and click Blue Table Lamp Base, uh, Blue Table Lamps for the Bedroom, Blue Table Light, Blue Glass Table Lamp, Blue Ceramic Table Lamp, Aqua, Table Lamp Blue and White, Art Glass, Blue and brown, blue and gold, Paris antique table lamp. So I'm just going to start clicking through baby blue, blue burst, blue bedside table lamp, bright blue. I'm going to ignore what look like store names. Cobalt blue, blue coral, blue china. I don't know what clarity blue is, but I'll click that. Contemporary blue, blue crab table, cheap blue table lamp, blue crystal, blue chandelier, dark blue, dark blue table lamp shades, blue dragonfly, duck egg blue, distressed blue, blue drip, blue polka dot, a million little descriptions in here. Blue for the bedroom, French blue, ice blue, blue lampshades again, blue gourd, blue glass, blue green, whoops, click the country, uh, blue sea glass, so, I, oops, keep clicking on that, same one, okay, blue ginger jar, blue bubble glass, light blue, large blue, blue LED, blue lighthouse, light blue shades, blue lamp shades, small light blue, light blue ceramic, 
Modern Blue, Blue Mosaic, Midnight Blue, Blue Martini Table Lamp, Blue Martini Glass, Navy Blue, Navy Blue Shades. Isn't this fun? Okay. Ocean Blue. It's actually rather addictive. Pale Blue. Blue White. Pale Blue Shades. Peacock Blue. All right. Now, um, if you, after you finish going through and expanding those, scroll back to the top and click Suggest All, or Select All, sorry, Keywords. As soon as you select or click that button, scroll down just a little bit and you'll see over here the option to get the entire list of keywords that have been highlighted. Now you can just copy these, scroll down, copy the whole thing, right click, copy. Now I'm going to bring up my Pinfabulous spreadsheet and I'm just going to do a little cleanup on this list here. I'm going to sort them from A to Z. I'm going to click data and remove the duplicates. I'm in Excel and you may use a different spreadsheet tool, uh, but this just makes sure I don't I don't want to make the list so big and it's bloated with duplicates that were in Uber Suggest. Um, and now, before I put it into the Google Keyword Planner, I just need to scroll through and look for funny characters because, uh, like, I think I don't think the dash counts, but if you see and signs or trademark signs or dollar signs, the Google Keyword Planner uh, doesn't like those, so it'll kick back the list. So like right here, I've got a little trademark sign. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, whoops, I saw a dash, a slash in here. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this funny characters. This actually makes this phrase the exact same as the other one, so I'm gonna delete it. Okay, now I'm gonna copy my cleaned up list I'm going to go back to a Google Keyword Planner. So I'm in Google AdWords. I'm signed in. I've clicked Tools and gone to the Google Keyword Planner. And now I want to get search volume for a list of keywords. I'm going to paste in the list I just copied from my spreadsheet. And then scroll down and click Get Search Volume. Now, this is going to bring up uh, an Ad Group Ideas tab and a Keyword Ideas tab. I want the Keyword Ideas tab. Now I've already added my filters. I am targeting the United States. I don't want to see keywords that include sale, free, do-it-yourself, homemade. I've actually added some others. I have Walmart, Amazon, Target. I don't want to see keywords that say pictures because I'm not promoting pictures of table lamps um, or images. Okay. And I've used the keyword filter to only show keywords with less than a thousand searches a month. These are low volume um, because those generally tend to be low competition keywords, but they work great for this strategy. Now I'm going to click on average monthly searches to sort the results from high to low based on search volume. And then I'm going to download the list, save the file, uh, we'll put it right in here, and we'll go back to Excel and we'll open that spreadsheet that I just saved, and it's going to be this one. I think I could have saved it as an Excel file and I wouldn't have to go through these steps, but okay. Now, in Pinfabulous, I tell you to delete the currency column, so I just highlight it and delete it. And now I'm just going to copy all the keywords and the search volume where the search volume is greater than 100 a month. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring up my Pinfabulous spreadsheet and I'm going to paste those into the spreadsheet. 
and the spreadsheet will automatically highlight that the search volume is uh, acceptable by shading it green and we're looking for keywords that have four or more words in them and so this column will highlight green telling me these are the ones I want to look at. So I have navy blue lampshade, blue glass table lamp, light blue lampshade, light blue tablecloth, look that wasn't even a, oh, but it's only three words so we're going to ignore that, blue ceramic table lamp. Okay, so I'm going to take my first keyword, navy blue lampshade, and I'm going to go to uh, Market Samurai and, uh, and run the SEO competition module, and I'm looking for keywords that have at least six PR zeros on the first page of Google and at least six pages with zero backlinks. So I can see here one, two, three, four, five, I've got six PR zeros and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I have at least seven uh, pages with zero black backlinks. So I'd go back to my spreadsheet and I would type in six and seven, that tells me that word is good. I would go back to this column. It, does it include a brand, a store, or a city? No. That tells me that's good. So here, all I'd have left to do is to check Pinterest to see if there was already a, uh, a board for that keyword. And then I would check the next one, blue glass table lamp. So I'd do new keyword, blue glass table lamp. In, uh, this is Market Samurai. There's instructions to use the free version of Traffic Travis instead in the Pin Fabulous guide. Um, I'm going to click SEO Competition Module. To make things easier on myself, I uncheck these other boxes and just want to look at the page rank column and the backlink column. I'm going to look at historical backlinks. I'm going to generate the results. And again, I'm looking for at least six zeros in each of these columns. And here I only come up with one, two, three, four, and five. So I'd go back to my spreadsheet, I'd enter four and five, and that would tell me that that doesn't meet the criteria. So I'd go to the next keyword that had four words in it, light blue lampshade blue lampshade. Back to Market Samurai, enter the word, run the SEO competition module, uncheck these two boxes, looking only for page rank and backlinks, generate the results, and this is what, this is the process I'd run through. So I would check those four keywords, counting the, the uh, zeros in these columns and putting them in the spreadsheet. This had one, two, three, and five. And then I would keep checking them. Then I would go, once I'd checked those, I'd go back to Uber Suggest and I would try red. I'd put in red table lamp, click the suggest button, go back through uh, the returned list, expand all of the um, results that come up, click the get button, clean them up a little bit in Excel or a spreadsheet tool, and then run them through the Google Keyword Planner to get the volume. It's just a continuous cycle until I found a good you know, 10 or 20 keywords to keep me busy. It might take me half an hour to an hour to run through something like that to find uh, 10 to 20 keywords that meet the criteria, but um, I have heard from people who've taken days and couldn't find them, and so hopefully this uh, video will help show you or give you some ideas about how you can make the process faster for yourself and find more excellent keywords for your Pinterest boards. Thank you, and as always, if you have any questions, let me know.